Hi everyone, Sherwood Small Pets here, and I'm here with Robin Hood, and we're going to showcase the thing that thing that we were working on. So in my last video, the haul, I purchased the Super Pet uh, popcorn bed, um, and I said that I'd wanted to put fleece and a waterproof pad in the bottom. And so I thought yesterday was such a disgusting day that I would just go ahead and start working on it. And about two and a half hours later, uh, because I didn't, I sewed it all by hand, not with a sewing machine, we have it done. So here it is. So this is the removable waterproof pad. And inside is all stitched with fleece. You wanna check it out, baby? I'll explain what I did. So the first thing I did was I cut out a uh, U-Haul and a piece of uh, the mattress pad and put that, pinned that to two pieces of fleece and then I sewed the cushion around. So that was the first thing I did and we'll just take that out. So we've got this fluffy stuff on the bottom which is what I didn't want him to have access to. So then we sewed all the way around the bottom and then all the way around the top and then we cut the hole out and sewed or stitched around there just to make sure that everything was nice and secure. Hold on. So it makes the bed quite a bit heavier and it also, I think it looks a lot nicer to be honest, but it makes the bed sturdier so it's like sides aren't going to cave in. See, we've got it comes back. And uh, I just couldn't resist the theme of this and I'm sure like, oh no, back up. <sighs> nice try. You got a new, okay, so what happens if I take this away? <gasps> Oh no, what is this? What's that? And just, and just, and just as I say that, look who's in the popcorn bin. Ha! My popcorning little Robin Hood. What do you think, babe? Do you like it? Okay, so if you want the specific step-by-step -step instructions, just uh, leave a comment asking. I didn't figure I'd put that in because not everybody's going to build beds this way. But if anybody's interested, I did f I did film the step-by-step -step process, so I can figure out a way to get that to you. Um, it was really quite simple. I mean, I am by no means an advanced so like seamstress by at all. So if I can, do it, literally anyone can. So this was a pretty easy project. I mean, it took me, like I said, a couple of hours by hand for pinning and everything, but um, I think it's definitely worth it because now I don't need to worry about him, them chewing the insides and I can worry, it'll be, it's washable now. And I just, it's sturdier and I like the pad in it that I can just ta take out and wash. So it's, I think it was a win-win and a good idea. Do you like it, babe? So that's what it looks like from the top. So it's like a cuddle cup, really. Like that's really all it is, um, size wise. That's about the same size as our cuddle cups. So it's definitely a one pig thing if you're looking at this from a potential buyer perspective. Why are you so scratchy? Has it got that new bed feel? Um, but my boys like having higher walls. They really don't care for cuddle cups all that much. So definitely something that's really good for them. And yeah, that's, that's all we got guys. So I'm quite pleased with it. Looks like little John likes it too. Hey baby. Yes. Hi babe. Hi. Yeah. Do you like it too? Our little popcorning pigs. Hi, sweetie. Yes. You just can't stand not having all the attention, eh? All in all, this was a very exciting project. And, uh, yeah, the boys seem to be quite happy with it. So definitely recommend not being afraid to modify stuff that you see that you like. And because you can get good results. <laughs> let, hope, let us know what you think. And if anyone has any questions, feel free to comment because, you know, we love hearing from you. Okay, bye-bye.